I'm in Albuquerque. We're just about to start our sixth and final season of Better Call Saul. I'm told that the wheels come off in season six and it explodes in a million directions. Uh, that sounds to me like there's a fair amount of violence, but I don't know for a fact. You know, and I'm not being coy. Uh, that, it, it may be, it may be 2022. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, we'll be discussing all the recent Better Call Saul Season 6 news. The fact that Season 6 has begun filming, along with speculating on when the Season 6 release date will be. Warning of spoilers for Breaking Bad, El Camino, and Better Call Saul up to the Season 5 finale. So about 8 months ago was our last Season 6 release date discussion, and I've gotten plenty of requests to break down everything that's happened since then and give an update on the current situation for Season 6, so let's jump right into it. And... Action. Originally, they were supposed to film Better Call Saul Season 6 in the summer of 2020, but lockdown happened, so they had to wait until fall 2020 to film Season 6, which has now gotten pushed back to spring 2021. Ever since fall 2020, we've been wondering if they were actually going to be able to start filming in the spring, or if it was going to get pushed back again to summer or even fall 2021. Well, fear not, because it looks like filming is underway. First off, Tom Schnoz tweeted out confirming that they posted the last card on the storyboard for Season 6. Although he can't show the storyboard due to spoilers, he still tweeted out the card number 613 as proof. If you aren't already familiar, the show creators and writers map out each act of each episode on a physical bulletin board in the writer's room. They usually release screenshots of the storyboard after a given episode airs, and I recommend checking them out as it's really interesting behind the scenes content, which even includes deleted its scenes, outtakes, and extra info. There's something about being in a room and, and being with the board that you're working on, as opposed to having a digital now. I write down stuff on, a, on an index card, I'll take a picture of it, send it to Jen Carroll, mm -hmm. who will digitally put it on a separate board online that we can all look at together at the same time. It's just more time consuming and there's just something missing in the process that I can't mm -hmm. quite put my finger on. So with Tom Schnoz tweeting out that they finished episode 613, that puts a wrap on pre-production for Better Call Saul season 6. With the entire final season written and planned out, now it's finally time to move on to filming. As we record this, it was about an hour ago, as we're shooting this now, that we wrapped, we put the last number of the last episode up for Better Call Saul. It took them longer to write season six than any other season, not only due to the three extra episodes, but also due to lockdown, forcing them to work online with Zoom and such instead of a physical writer's room. The lockdown and filming delays did give them some extra time to perfect their scripts, and I hope that it shows. Whether you call it perfect timing or good planning, they finished writing 613 just in time to immediately begin filming episodes 601 and 602. On the Gilliverse podcast, which I recommend you check out, links in the description, Vince Gilligan says that this is the second time that they've ever completely finished scripting out a season before filming begins. But because of the, the delay that COVID added, this is the first time, as I was just saying, we finished carding. Mm -hmm. the, the scripts are not all written, but we finished carding. We finished breaking the plot, the story. As I said on the final episode just an hour or so ago, they still have to be written, but we've never been this far ahead before the beginning of shooting. It's it's the closest we ever came was back on Breaking Bad when I think we had maybe eight of them figured out out of thirteen, maybe. Wow. And maybe maybe it's nine or maybe nine or so. But this is all thirteen figured out before we start shooting, which is a hidden blessing, I guess, within this COVID nightmare. And then in February 2021, we saw tweets of actors such as Michael Mando, who plays Nacho, flying out to Albuquerque to begin filming. This was our first hint that filming wasn't getting delayed again and that it was actually going to happen. Bob Odenkirk has also done multiple interviews recently talking about flying out to Albuquerque and starting to film season six. Um, have you guys started filming the final season? When, no, where I are go you? back tomorrow. Oh, for real? Yeah, I fly out in the morning, yeah. 
Oh my god, okay, um... It was then confirmed, at least to me, that filming would start at the beginning of March 2021 due to a Reddit post that I saw. It was on the Better Call Saul subreddit, and the post shows a company called White Turtle Casting, and they're looking for stand-ins and photo doubles for Better Call Saul Season 6. They stated that filming would start around the second week of March, March 9th to be exact. That post was proven to be true by Peter Gould, who tweeted out on Wednesday, March 10th that it was their first day filming Season 6, along with attaching a photo of the episode 601 clapboard. On the clapboard, we can see that it's for episode 601, and it's dated for March 10th, 2021. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the specific clapboard appears to be used for Act 2, Scene 1.7, Take 2. It looks like there's a dot between the 1 and the 7, leading me to believe that it's 1.7 and not 17. Although I'm unsure, I'm not really a professional when it comes to reading these things. I know it's simple, but a lot of people mark them differently. So we can also see that episode 601 is directed by Michael Morris, who also directed my favorite Better Call Saul episode of all time so far, episode 503, The Guy for This. You're the guy for this. Along with episodes of 506, a Wexler v. Goodman. Yup. In episode 405, Quite a Ride, which we've also discussed countless times on the channel due to the 405 Breaking Bad flash forward scene. Quite a ride, huh? <sighs> I'm very happy and excited to see what Michael Morris has up his sleeve for episode 601, along with the director of photography, Marshall Adams, who has been with the show since at least season 3. Tom Schnoz also tweeted out on March 10th that he stayed up really late working on a certain scene, which is really encouraging as a fan to see how hard they're working on this final season to get it finished the very best way that they can. And just the fact that he's working so hard on the first day just really shows how excited they are to be back and working on this show again. When I think about episode 601, all I can think about is the next Gene scene, which makes me so hyped to wonder what they're doing with Gene. Have they already filmed it? Will 601 be the only Gene scene we get? No way, right? They're probably gonna do a full Gene episode by the end of season 6. At least I hope they've teased it. And to be honest, that's another discussion topic for another time, but let me know of any full episode Gene predictions that you have if you haven't told me yet already, because I'll definitely be discussing that more in the near future. Next up, Gus Frank's actor Giancarlo Esposito also tweeted out a short video video about finally being back on set. It was deleted off of Twitter shortly after, I'm not sure why, whether he wanted to delete it himself or maybe someone told him to take it down, but I believe that the Better Call Saul Twitter page even had retweeted it at 1.2, so I'm not sure, it doesn't look like it's spoiling much. You know who this is? I do, and I'll show you. Gustavo Fring, first day back, Better Call Saul, I could not be more excited. That is as excited as I get. Welcome home, Gustavo Fring. And all of you, we're coming soon. Hopefully that was okay to show, it seems innocent enough, right? Not sure why it was taken down. Also, Bob Odenkirk says that he only has the script for the first two episodes so far, so none of the actors know what happens past episode 602. Has he told you ultimately where this is all gonna go, or are you finding out script by script? I'm finding out script by script. Um, I've only got the first two. It seems that the actors only know one to two episodes in advance, which makes sense, so they can focus on the current episode that they're filming and trying to act in, instead of being worried what happens seven episodes from now. So why were they given the scripts for the first two episodes and not just the first? Is it just because it's the beginning of the season and they want more to go off of? Because imagine if you're filming episode seven, you only have the script for that, but you know what's happened in the past six episodes. But if you're starting on the first episode of the season, well, it's the first episode back, and so maybe they just gave them both scripts, so as I said, they have more to go off of. It could be as simple as that, but is it possible that they're planning on doing a back-to-back -back episode premiere for episode 601 and 602, either both in the same night or one the day after the other? In the past, AMC has done double premieres or double finales, usually it's for The Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead, but they've also done something similar for Better Call Saul in the past. Better Call Saul Season 5 had a two-day premiere, with episode 501 airing February 23rd, 2020, and episode 502 airing the day after, February 24th, 2020. And of course, there's a lot of variables here. Who decides the double premiere? Is it the Better Call Saul crew? Is it AMC? And when do they decide it? Do they decide it before filming or after filming? But my point is, is that it's possible that they could do a double premiere. Is that something that you'd want to see? I'd be really hyped for it, but at the same time, there's only 13 episodes left, so I almost want to cherish each one as much as I can.
Since season 6 has started filming for Better Call Saul, how long will it take to film and edit the season for release? Will they be able to push out the season for a late 2021 release, or will they wait until 2022? Let's discuss everything that we know. Better Call Saul season 6 has 13 episodes, which is more than the usual 10, so it should take them slightly longer to film, along with slightly longer to edit in post-production. Since it's the final season with 3 bonus episodes, they could have some huge things planned such as episode 508 Bagman, which took weeks to film all on its own, so keep that in mind. Some episodes might take longer than others, and with it being the finale to the series and the universe, I assume that they want to go out with a bang. The wheels come off in season 6, and it explodes in a million directions. And in one of the most recent Inside the Gillivers podcast episodes, Vince Gilligan was asked about whether season 6 would come out in 2021 or 2022, and this is what he had to say about it. Can you comment at all? There's a lot of speculation. There's some things by uh, Dead, uh, Deadline. A few other people put some stories out today that uh, the, season, uh, the final season is going to be delayed till 2022, and obviously it'd probably be coming out in 2022 anyways. But um, can you comment on both when production is a starting is, is uh, if you know 100% and when we might anticipate to see it on uh, on cable you know and i'm not being coy uh that it, it may be it may be 2022 uh, but it's uh we're as far as our as our schedule I'm not being coy when i say that uh you know it, it's it's going to be a long haul from here but we're not sure exactly I'd only be guessing, uh, which I'd rather not do. Sure, about. sure. But but it may that may be correct. It may be, and and I apologize uh, on behalf of uh, all of us. I'd better call Saul for the long wait for all you fans. But all of that to say, and all that long winded answer adds up to harder to say when the show will go on. But but don't hold your breath for, <laughs> for being this summer or anything. It won't remotely be. That soon. Next up, Luis Moncada, one of the actors for the Salamanca twin cousins, says in an Instagram post that season 6 was supposed to come out by the end of the year 2021, but then replies again seemingly confirm that season 6 was indeed pushed back to 2022. Some of you may have already heard this, but there's apparent confirmation that AMC is pushing back Better Call Saul season 6 to spring 2022 by AMC CEO Josh Sappin. Apparently, it was said during the AMC parent company's fourth quarter and full year 2020 earnings call. I tried finding a video of the CEO saying this, but I only found articles reporting on it. The CEO goes on to say that this is because they already have a full slate with The Walking Dead shows that they wanted to push back Better Call Saul to spring 2022. On one hand, I understand why they're doing this, but on the other hand, this is honestly kind of BS. First off, with The Walking Dead content returning, I was already wondering if Season 6 would clash with The Walking Dead. And for any longtime viewers of the channel, it's almost nostalgic to hear me even talk about The Walking Dead. But Better Call Saul is one of, if not the most popular non-Walking Dead show on AMC. Although it is common for them to air a new Better Call Saul season right after the new Walking Dead season finishes, previously I believe that they did once release Better Call Saul at the same time as The Walking Dead, and it kind of worked out since The Walking Dead is a Sunday night show, while Better Call Saul airs on Monday nights. It's possible for AMC to air Better Call Saul alongside The Walking Dead just different nights like they usually have in the past. But, because of lockdown and the pandemic, AMC doesn't have that much new content recently. The Walking Dead is one of, if not the only first thing that they've filmed since the pandemic started, and they even had to socially distance zombies. Even though AMC could probably air Better Call Saul Season 6 during Fall 2021, it seems like they're low on new content, and they seem to be cherishing it by stretching it out more in order to keep a steady supply of it releasing. So as I said, I understand why they're doing this, new content is kinda rare nowadays, and they don't want to just release it all at once. But I also dislike this because they're holding out on Better Call Saul Season 6 from us just so they can look better in the long run by slowly releasing more content over time. I really wish that Better Call Saul Season 6 would air in 2021, but it seems like it's confirmed for Spring 2022, so we'll have to wait almost another full year from this very moment. Now when it comes to the show being delayed, there's things I'm okay with and things I'm not so okay with. When it comes to them creating the show, scripting it out, maybe they need more time to 
film it, maybe they need more time in post-production to get the effects right, that's fine, like please take as long as you need to make Better Call Saul Season 6 as amazing as you possibly can. I have a lot of respect for the cast and crew, and if they need a little bit more time, so be it, I don't really mind. But when it comes to AMC holding it back from us just because they have some sort of alternate agenda, that kind of annoys me. I just wanted to make that clear because I'm sure we all want Better Call Saul Season 6 to be the best that it can be, but come on AMC, why you do us like this? It's just unfortunate that the show isn't naturally coming out once it's finished, but that's instead being pushed back due to AMC because they want to. We could sit here all day and wonder how long it'll take them to finish production, post-production for season 6, but won't matter because AMC isn't going to release it until they feel like it. Now there is one more thing to talk about in regards to them currently filming season 6, the big elephant in the room, and that is COVID restrictions. Normally I try to not talk about the virus or even say the name of it because I heard that YouTube videos can get flagged for it, so oops, I just said it, but it's necessary because I'm sure everyone is just as concerned as I am on whether or not the pandemic will affect the quality of the final season. Better Call Saul is a show set in the early 2000s, so they want to keep it as such, but it's hard to film and create a pre-pandemic show. I've been worried that season 6 would be affected by this, and that we would see less people in each scene than originally intended because Better Call Saul includes public areas and large crowds with a ton of extras. The the fact that there's so many complications that now go into filming is why filming for season 6 has been delayed multiple times. They're trying to figure out all the safety precautions, how they want to go about it, and how they want to do it without it hurting the show. Even though they've created new episodes for The Walking Dead, it was very obvious in those episodes that they had to follow very specific pandemic safety rules. That being said, The Walking Dead creators have admitted that those pandemic episodes were smaller scale on purpose, but they've implied that they've now figured out how to film bigger and more regular episodes episodes in the future. Likewise, this also gives me hope that AMC and the Better Call Saul creators have figured out how to safely film Season 6 the way that they originally intended, without having to change up the script or the plot due to safety restrictions while filming. The creators said that they didn't want the pandemic safety restrictions to alter the show, and that they were going to wait until they could figure out how to film as originally intended. Since filming has begun, I'm assuming that they figured out the safety concerns somehow. Vince Gilligan also briefly touched on this topic during his recent episode in the Gilliver, so I'll go ahead and add that clip in right here. But as as to now, we got to shoot the thing, and shooting it is going to be tricky because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, more and more day by day, week by week, more and more folks uh, all around the world are getting their vaccines. I'm looking forward to getting getting mine. But in the meantime, we'll shoot. We'll we have uh, uh, Rosa Estrada. Our, our, our Rosa is wonderful. Rosa has been with us for years and years, and she has been in charge of uh, you know she's been a, one of our medics for years and now she's in charge of COVID compliance. So she's telling us all the things we need to do to keep it safe. But it's it's a big deal because everyone has to get tested. There's a testing cadence, they call it, where you get tested. Mm -hmm. I forget, uh, she's told me all this. I don't remember all the details, but maybe three times a week and then we all have to wear masks. We all have to stay six feet away from each other. And in the meantime, make a TV show. Yeah. So it's a pain in the butt. Finally, I didn't really know where to fit this in during the video, so I'm just going to put it here at the end. It kind of counts as season six news. Apparently, there's rumors that Brian Cranston, Walter White's actor, will be directing an episode of Better Call Saul season six. Bob Odenkirk was asked this during a recent interview, and he did not confirm or deny it. Is Brian Cranston finally going to direct an episode? This I do not know. Um, I've only got the first two, so uh, I hope that that happens. I've heard that rumor, but I have not seen anything factual that it's going to happen yet. Now again, I don't know if it's true or not, but Brian Cranston did direct multiple episodes of Breaking Bad, so it's very possible. It's also possible that we'll see Walter White and or Jesse Pinkman in Better Call Saul Season 6, but I think I'll save that discussion for one of my next videos. So this is kind of anticlimactic. We're originally excited because Season 6 has finally begun filming with the Peter Gould tweet and Tom Schnoz talking about it, but it's slightly disappointing to hear that we're forced to wait until spring 2022 to see it when it could have possibly aired in fall 2021. I suppose it's not that much longer, what's a few more months at this point, right? But don't let all my complaining fool you, regardless, I am still happy that we're slowly getting progression towards Better Call Saul Season 6 being completed. With how amazing Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's okay with waiting longer than usual to see the final season, with all things considered, even if it is a little disappointing. I know a lot of you have already expected a 2022 release date, 
so it's probably not much as a surprise for you, but those are just my opinions. Feel free to give me yours down below. I guess, uh, that's it. Also, let me know of any Walt and or Jesse cameo predictions for season 6, along with any Gene predictions you have for full Gene episodes. These are both topics that I'm going to cover on the channel fairly soon. They might not be my very next videos, might have a few videos come out in between them, so even if you do see a few different uploads instead, just know that they are still coming, and I'm very excited for them. Feel free to leave any comments in regards to them down below, and I might put your comments in my videos. I already did a poll about Walt and Jesse on the community tab for my channel, and I got a bunch of great comments from there, so I think I'm gonna use the comments from that poll in the Walt and Jesse video, and I'm gonna be doing things more like that in the future, so be sure to check out the community tab posts as well. Also, feel free to check out Eric Broadbent over at the Gilliverse Podcast. He interviews a new cast and crew member every week. He does a great job over there, and I really enjoyed his recent episode with Vince Gilligan, so I'll link it down below in the description. Go check it out, and if you want, tell him that I sent you. All other relevant links will be in the description as well, such as the Twitter posts, the interviews, and the articles that we've discussed in this video. Also, if you haven't yet already, feel free to follow me on Twitter. It's a great way to get a hold of me if you found out something new about Better Call Saul Season 6, or if you just have some sort of fun detail or theory about the show. I only seem to promote my Twitter like once every six months or so on YouTube, but I am very active on Twitter. I usually check it daily. As always, I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything that I've said today, and if you're new here or just haven't yet already, please subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on when I post new content for Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. As always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out! We'll have to see what happens in Season 6. Yeah, Season 6. You can't come soon enough. But I, I believe, uh, I don't want to jinx it, but I believe it will be more than worth the wait. So thank you for waiting.